Hey guys, welcome back to Michelle Mondays. I hope you guys had a great weekend and ready to tune in for another week. So today I'll be recreating Kim Kardashian's Met Gala look. I really enjoyed recreating this look. So I'll be using the KKW Beauty eyeshadow palette and the first color I'll be using is Gemini. It is a flesh tone color just to prep the base. I am going in with just a fluffy brush and I'm just patting that on my lids in the center. But this is just to make sure that the eyeshadows are really blendable and there's no harsh lines. And now switching to the KKW Beauty Cherry Blossom Palette. And I'll be using this color here called Cherry. And I'm taking that on a fluffy crease brush. And I'm just going to work that into my crease. I do have a cut above my eye there. Because I did get my eyebrows threaded yesterday. Yeah, even though she did do it normal, I guess. My skin still did bleed. So that's something to really look out for if you're on Accutane. Just make sure you tell them that you are on that medication. So they don't do it as rough but it's still stinging now so that's annoying and obviously my makeup isn't going to be exactly the same as hers and i don't look like her but this is just my take on that look i really loved it i thought that she looked amazing and i was like Dang, I need to create this. I am taking the color all the way in and then buffing it up into the beginning of my eyebrow so it looks more like blown out. And again for my foundation today, I did use the Dermacol makeup cover, which is amazing. I think it looks so good on camera. If you would like to watch that video about my review and how I cover my acne, the link will be in the description bar down below and definitely check it out because it is honestly really amazing. So with that same brush, I am going into Selfish. I'm just going to clean off my brush i'm going to focus it directly on my crease i'm not blowing it out at all i'm just keeping it right in my crease socket but since i am using it on the same fluffy brush it will naturally blend out on its own and i'm just doing the same like swirly and wind wiper motions so for the inner corner and outer corner, I'll be going in with Florence and I'm taking it on a firm blender brush. So with this color, you do want to concentrate it just on the inner corner and I'm just packing the color on right now and keeping that center still really light with no color. Just going to blend it out a little bit. I am going to just highlight the center of my eye with the color Chicago and I'll be taking that color on a flat concealer brush. I am dragging that color all the way up to my crease color, almost at the bottom of my eyebrow highlight. So now I'm going in with a tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna diffuse that a little bit. So now I'll be going in with Steeler's Kin and Karma Liquid Eyeshadow. And this eyeshadow is so reflective, if you can see it. So I am going to keep that mainly on my eyelids. For the lower lash line, it looked like she kept it quite brown with no pink undertones there. So I'm going to go in with the color Florence again, but just on my lower lash line. And her lash line and actually underneath looks a lot darker than mine. So I am going to go in with Fade, which is a darker brown. I feel like this is a look that you can recreate with any palette. So I'm just keeping that on my outer corner. And I'm taking that on a dense eyeshadow brush, which is quite small. So I do want to keep the inside of my eye quite open and then still have that smoky look on the outside. So I'm just gonna prep my lashes with mascara and then I'll show you the lashes I'll be using. So I did realize in the photo that Kim had her waterline lined. I did line my upper and lower lash line with a black eyeliner and I use this one called Zero from Urban Decay. For my Asian girls or girls with smaller eyes, I would recommend to focus the color on the outer corners and then slowly bring it in really lightly because you don't want to close off your entire eye because you don't want to make it look smaller. And for the lashes today, I'll be using Olivia by Huda Beauty. It is a shorter lash, but it is quite full and thick. I'm going to quickly pop these on. So if you do have any trouble putting on falsies, I would recommend getting one of these lash tools. It does make life so much easier. And see how when you put one side of the lash down, the inner corner comes up. And I actually, with this tool, while the glue is still a little wet, I literally go in between my eyelashes and squeeze them together with the falsies. This is with one of the lashes on which makes such a difference it looks amazing with the eyelash on it just transforms the whole look and this is what the look is looking like so far I'll just give you a quick look of the eyes 
Moving on to the lips, I will be using Max Whirl, also Sublime Culture. I'm going to start with Whirl on the outside. Inside of that, I'm gonna go with Sublime Culture. My lips are looking quite pink, so I am gonna go over with my Beauty Blender. And it has a bit of foundation on it, and I'm just gonna push it in. And then personally, I think she's got a bit of like a satin sheen. So I'm actually going in with Napoleon de Pertis's lip gloss in Cat Core. Focus that right in the center. So to amp up that glow, I'm going to be using a mixture of Fenty Beauty's Hustler Baby, Mary Luminizer, W7's Glow Commotion, and How Many Carrots by Fenty Beauty. And I'm actually going to be taking it on a fluffy eyeshadow brush just because I do want a more direct application I don't really don't think that you need to use this many highlighters but I just thought let's just see how many we can use just to get a similar feel of how she looks and just to be a little bit bougie I am going to spray my skin with the Tatcha dewy skin mist and I think the look is complete guys And if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe to Michelle Mondays down below. And also follow me on Instagram right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.